Hey guys, the Cessna Plane here. Today I'm going to show you how you can record a Skype conversation completely free. The first thing you want to do is download a utility for the Mac called Soundflower. Uh, what Soundflower does is it enables you to send any output going out of your Mac into its own input. So download that, install it, and then restart your Mac. Uh, you won't actually be able to use Soundflower until you've restarted, so make sure you do that. Then once you've restarted, um, go to the audio MIDI setup. Uh, if you don't know where this is, either use Spotlight to, to search for it, or if you want to use the Finder, it's in the Applications folder, uh, then Utilities folder, and there it is there, Audio MIDI Setup. Okay, now, uh, if you don't see a window like this, you've probably got the audio window hidden, so you just got to come up to Window and choose Show Audio Window. Okay, then choose, or then click on the plus button there, um, that creates what's called an aggregate device and what that enables you to do is to merge uh, multiple devices into one um, So here I want you to choose whichever mic that you use with Skype. I want you to select that So I, I use the blue eyeball 2.0 mic and then select um, Soundflower 2 channel Okay, then you can quit that then inside of Skype um, I want you to go to Preferences um, and inside the Audio Video section, um, obviously choose the mic that you use, so the blue iPhone, the iPhone, the blue eyeball mic, um, and then for the speakers, choose Soundflower 2 channel. Um, and that's it. Then um, I want you to open up QuickTime Player. If you don't know where QuickTime Player is, either use Spotlight once again or it's in the applications folder if you want to use the finder so there it is there okay so inside a quick time player go to file new audio recording um, and now before we do anything here i cannot stress this to you enough make sure that this slider here is all the way down because if it's up all the way or even halfway um, you could potentially get severe feedback and if your speakers are up loud, you could damage your speakers and even worse, you could damage your ears. So I cannot stress that to you enough. Keep that all the way down um, when recording or even just when using this pro when using this method of recording. Okay. Once you've done that, um, choose this or click this little triangle here and then select the aggregate device that you just created. Okay. Um, and as you can see, we're getting some some sort of sound, which is obviously going through my microphone at the moment. It, it is very low, um, but that's easily fixed. But anyway, so the mic's working. Now we just got to test Skype. So if I go here and yep, you can see right Hello. now. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, testing one two testing. Yep, that's definitely working. So that's all there is to it. Once again, make sure that this is all the way down. If it's, I'll show you, I'll give you a little sample of what happens. Hello, hello, hello. You hear that feedback? You hear that feedback? That's not good. So make sure you keep that all the way down. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take it easy.